Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Our House 21 here, and this is a quick status update for you guys. So I did a little tease of this thing here on, um, on Facebook and Instagram. So I just want to dig in just a little bit and just show you what's going on. So for those who have been paying attention, you would have seen that Atomic, which is a sister company to my sponsor Venom, so I guess I'm sponsored by Venom and Atomic. Um, but Atomic has very, very, very high quality aluminum parts for the Traxxas cars. And guess what? I have a number of Traxxas cars. So what I got going on here are basically full aluminum upgrades for Dizzy, for Slade, for Scratch, and for Surly. Now, those who followed me for a while know that I've had some interesting things to say about aluminum parts. But if you remember, most of what I was talking about were the cheap pot metal, really low quality aluminum parts that a lot of RC manufacturers basically like to put out there and pass off as being an upgrade. These are a little bit different. These are actually made from high quality alloy, machined parts. These are pretty darn beautiful. You know, so like for example, these A-arms, you know, these very high grade, very strong, you know, so I mean, <laughs> these things are kind of nuts. So this, all these parts I've got, A-arms, I've got steering links, I've got shock towers in the case of scratch over here i have uh replacement shock bodies so these are going to replace the Traxxas gtr shocks that i have on board so these have the, the screw preloads and so basically all the nice features that you want to have on a nice high-end shock um aluminum bulkheads so this is for the lcg slash chassis so really nice quality aluminum bulkheads. I've gone with the gunmetal, but they also have them available in a nice red and a blue. So in the case of Dizzy here, I'm replacing some of the, um, you know, some of the turnbuckles with uh, these nice high quality turnbuckles. Unfortunately, they don't have as many things for the X01. So I am going to be replacing uh, Surly's A-arms with these gunmetal ones. You know, I'm not a huge bling type of person, but since I, uh, basically for the suspension component, so the, uh, the ends here, for the X01, they take a six millimeter bearing, or should I say the, the bearing that goes out to the drive shafts or out to the axles has a six millimeter inner diameter as opposed to the five millimeter inner diameter. Um, so actually, I guess I could have used the same parts as, uh, I guess I could have just used the same parts, um, that I used for this, the, for the slashes and just kept the same bearings. Duh, I could have done that. Well, anyway, uh, right now this comes, the XL ones come with aluminum going all through it. So I just figured I'll keep that for Surly for the XL one. However, for the slashes, they come with plastic. So I am going to be going ahead and doing the aluminum grades for those. So I'm gonna be showing the aluminum Traxxas versus the atomic side by side so you guys can see what the differences are. And um, so stay tuned, very shortly, you're gonna see full install videos for all these. So I'm gonna hit in sequence. So the slashes I'm gonna to do together. So, and I'm gonna do that so that you can see the similarities and the differences for when you're doing a off-road bashing racing type of slash or an on-road conversion. They're basically like very, very similar, but there are some slight things that you need to keep in mind for differences. And mainly is like in suspension setup and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna do those two together. I'm going to do Surly separately, uh, you know, because Exo ones are kind of special. And then I'm going to go ahead and get Slade. Now, not necessarily in that order, but you're going to see different videos showing the teardown and rebuilds of all these cars with all the new components. And as you can see, once again, you got like, 
the bulkheads, you got the suspension of ends, you got the turnbuckles, you got the shock towers. Uh, in this case, you also have, you know, the rear bulkheads. Um, for the rustler over here, you know, you've got front and rear A-arms. Now, what you find is that the rear A-arms, you can actually use the same ones for the slash 4x4. And that's actually the recommended path, or at least what I recommend. But, you know, all the suspension ends and the shock towers. And I forgot to pick up the little crossbar that goes here. So, um, I may end up just using the stock plastic one, or I might 3D print something custom because I was thinking about playing around with some different body mounts for that anyway. So, as I said, stay tuned. You're going to see how all these things come together. And then you're gonna see me do a mad dash trying to get some good runs in before the weather turns here. It's late October in the Washington DC area. It's been unseasonably warm for a long time. So I'm hoping that holds to my advantage so I can get out there in the next couple of weeks and try to turn in some good numbers. All right, so stay tuned. So in addition to this stuff, I also have a new, um, a new Venom charger that I've been teasing that you're going to see me do a nice in-depth review on, talk about his features, and I'm going to be giving that bad boy away. So watch out. That's going to be coming up very shortly. I'm thinking about keeping it simple, like as in, I'm going to post a link to the review video. So my thought is, if you want in on a giveaway, make a comment. I'll go through, I'll use a random number generator, and I will pick a comment at random, and the one who... Is, and the number who was selected will be the winner. That simple. So no jumping through a lot of hoops, nothing crazy. Just when it install, or should say when the review video goes up, I have the instructions in the description, but basically leave a comment saying, I want in and you'll be in. Ta-da. So look for that going here coming up pretty soon. I might do that in the rush of the holiday season. I might have that as a pre Black Friday giveaway or something like that. But stay tuned. Watch the channel. You'll see all that coming through. All right, guys. Our House 21 signing out. Remember the mantra fly, fix, fly, break it, fix, and do it all over again. And don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and all the other social media out there. And if you're bored or just want to engage with some cool people, check me out on the RC Physics Sandbox on Facebook or just interact on the RC Physics page. Oh, and if you're on Facebook anyway, don't forget to stop by the Venom lifestyle page too much of really cool like-minded rc guys there and they're talking about planes and cars and pretty much anything that takes a battery anything rc related all right guys our house 21 signing out peace